Welcome back to A Keeper of the Prophecies, a Thief 2 fan campaign. We're still on the first mission, uh, titled The Enterprise. Um, oh, two objectives, sorry, three objectives. Find LU Mechanical Eye, find 1215 loot, and find the Master's Key. So far, we haven't done any of those. We've found almost 1250 loot. But, um, we're currently in in the caves below the factory. Uh, trying to find a way out of the caves, in fact. Which is interesting, because I was looking, I knew the caves were there, they're marked on the map. Uh, but I was trying to find my way into the caves from the cafe area and failed to do so, and accidentally fell into them as I was exploring their dungeons. So, you know, I guess I found my way to the caves after all. Aha, uh -huh, I see a ladder. I see two ladders. Well, that's interesting. Is this... Ah, oh, this must be where I fell in. Okay. Then perhaps this is actually a way out to the grounds? Let's explore this one, because it'll probably not require me to... fall back into the caves again. And it will find me some more loot, another diamond. All right, that's all the loot we need. We have our 1250, 1269 in fact. Another diamond, I won't say no. Extra loot's never a problem. Where does this lead? Another big cave. And the outside. Is there anything here apart from uh, Let me get through there. I don't know. I can. There was a passage off the other way as well, so I'm curious just where that leads, but going this way first, I guess. As it happens. A ladder and a rope. Oh, hello. I know where this is. And, uh, I could have come in this way a long time ago. Uh, in fact, this is right near where I started, I believe. Huh. Let's just double check my memory. Alright, this, this is outside the, uh, no, this isn't where it's at at all. This is outside the cafe, outside the cafeteria. Yeah. However, I did, I did find this, uh, this beam here and this rope earlier, and didn't explore it. So if I had been looking for the way into the caves, this would have been the obvious place to look if I'd remembered it existed. I didn't actually remember it, so. I guess that's how it goes. However, it does take us in out of the caves, but there was another passageway, and then there's the place I was trying to get to in the first instance, which perhaps is the same, it's just another way into these same caves as well, I don't know. At least two more ways for me to explore out here. Don't know if they're relevant. Wait, was there another way out of here? I thought I saw another passage out of here. Maybe I'm wrong. No, that's the way I came in. So this is the other passage out. Okay. I think. Yeah, this doesn't look familiar at all. Aha! Another diamond. Or a nugget. And... 
Okay, this is just the lower way, lower part of that same tunnel. So it seems the different exits from that tunnel are just different levels of these caves, so... In fact, there is no purpose to me continuing to explore out that way, I think. If I go back to the other ladder, it's not really going to get me anywhere near. These are steep. But I will just check it. So I'll go back here, check out the other ladder briefly. But I'll save before I do. Because if it just turns out to be another looping way around in here, then I won't really need it, will I? I guess it'll take me back to the dungeons, which is probably better than the cafeteria, to be honest. Okay. So this ladder. Here's the pit again. So this is the ladder I failed to grab onto last time and fell all the way down there, and there's the other, the low level of the caves. Yeah, because I dropped off this rope. There's two ladders. Can I reach that one? Bollocks. Oh, I don't think I did save just before I got there. Whoops. Alright, I guess we're going around the caves again. And I'll go out by the uh, cafe, it seems easier. Rather than climbing those ropes and ladders. Go whichever way. <laughs> I'll try this way once more, but now I have saved, so if, if if I if I fall to my not death, but if I fall again. Let's just go to the top of the ladder, I should be able to grab the rope. Yeah. Cool, okay. Right, so that's presumably where they dispose of unwanted bodies through these pipes, although one of them stayed down here and became a zombie. Who I had to explode. That's alright, because zombies can't feel pain. Wait. Oh yeah, this leads back up to the dungeon. Torture chamber. Rather. Alright. That's the way out. So, I still don't really know what I'm doing. Or what I'm trying to do. I need to go back and explore the Master Suite again a bit more. Uh, if for no other reason, then I think I didn't explore it thoroughly. At least on the ground floor. There's definitely something happening with the left, with the south left. If there was a dead body down here, I probably should search him again in case he had a key on him. Which means traversing that uh, rather, well, the secret passage from the auditorium uh, that leads rather uh, dangerously around the cliffs. But first, I'll try to go south back into the, the southern half of the building. What was this? What was this place? Test chambers. Oh, that's right. Southern half of the building is where they not where they create them, but where they uh, test them. Where well, a lot of very identical seeming hallways. This is the lobby. So. No, I haven't actually been in this courtyard. I was looking at the upstairs part of it. Never been down here myself. Apparently, people were jumping into the pool from the skylight and uh, hurting themselves. 
Oh, there's nothing in here, is there? That's what I came in. That was the stairs up. Just check around this hallway. If there is anything else down here. Just kind of doubt. There's another way out, which leads. Oof. Also back upstairs. Well, I've been here. Where does this lead? Alright, so this is back in the master's chambers and I haven't been in this room before. Squintus! Well, this is near the chambers. Squintus, chief financial officer, acting. Treasurer Squintus, perhaps you would not be so lax in your funding if you were required to work, as I, in an office located in the midst of alchemists whose ideas of high art include impaling poor souls until they confess what they do not know. Yes, I do hear your position regarding out-of-budget funding and how this incited the recent gruesome demise of your predecessor. However, I must insist nonetheless that Project Vision have centralised facilities where I may properly fulfil my duties, lest you too are blamed for our delay. Inticus, Chief Alchemist, Project Vision. Well, everyone here is very good at, like, uh... getting each other tortured or killed. Hello? What we got here? Treasurer Squintus, we are compelled to observe a severe injustice. Our divisions attempt to produce working assemblies while Project Vision drains away the money we need for materials and replacement slaves. We are late because you are withholding these funds. This morning our production supervisors Hastus and Remus were taken away to floggings and other horrors. And we will be next if matters do not improve immediately. You must restore our funding at once. Yolandus, Chief Alchemist, Iron Maiden Division. Corbulus, Chief Alchemist, Electrics Division. Well, everyone wants funding. There's nothing else hiding in there, is there? So the treasurer then, the, the chief financial officer then perhaps is the one that uh, everyone is, everybody's enemy. Right, so here are the chambers we started and all. I didn't explore here properly. Franticus, chief counsel. Because there's still loot and still papers to read. My dear Franticius, to answer your request, yes, we can most definitely untangle you from the demands of your master regarding the procurement of a certain optical item of hemorrhoid design. Given how your project vision has thus far failed to invent anything of the sort, perhaps this will accelerate your research efforts. So long as that fool of yours, Inticus, can stop boasting of his previous work long enough to actually study this object. And yes, I too find it odd how your master wishes to take possession of the eye himself. But then he is the owner of all things on his mountain, so you must do what will satisfy him. If you decide to utilize our services, we can be available at a moment's notice. Respectfully yours, Pinchenden, Chief Investigator, Investment Acquisitions. Right, so if I had actually come into this room, just like I looked in here but didn't come through here, right at the start, I would have had a clearer idea of uh, exactly why people were after me. There's both a research reason and uh, the master wants the eye himself as well. That is my eye, I'm going to keep it. Franticius, although we risk arousing nothing more than suspicions by leaving this parchment unsigned, nevertheless we feel compelled to write in the hope that you can be persuaded to act. Perhaps you have not seen how Master Celestus spends many days within his subchambers, and in those rare moments when he does emerge, perhaps also you have not noticed how his mind is increasingly twisted with rage. But you could not possibly have missed the sound this week of 17 floggings with a long whip. How much longer will it be before every employee and slave of the Enterprise has been likewise bound to the post to the command of the Master? May the Builder have mercy on us. You are closest to Celestus and so you are best positioned to remove him by the most direct means possible. For even you, his closest advisor, can no longer expect to escape his reign of terror. Okay. So 
So this is where I started. This is the master's room, and I went up these stairs, I believe, and explored. However, oh, there's still a secret key here. A secret chamber. Unlocked with that. I have not found. Um, there is a secret lift there, which is how I got in here. This is the master's escape passageway. This guard was dead already. Um, he died from eating a poison apple. It was not my doing. Alright, I'm back at the chief financial officer. Right, so I need to go back to the north left, right? Uh, there's a way out towards here or somewhere. I think. I don't know. Uh, somewhere out here. There's also apparently a west guard tower which has the power controls for the left. Right. Let's go out the lobby, out the main entrance. Is this the West Guard Tower? I mean, it's on the west, it's the one labeled security. And there is a guard here, still, who I have not dispatched. So, let him get a. Oh no, let's not waste a gas tower on him, let's use a flash bomb. Plenty of gas hours, of course, but uh, flash bomb. Hello, show yourself. On the other hand, coming here, this doesn't really help me. There's no power switches in here, that might be the one I'm looking for. So, the although I did find the uh, lift. Unless that's the guard tower. I found a way to the lift from the auditorium, but it was very uh, a long way round, and I'd much rather take the lift down directly if I can. Although perhaps that's not going to be possible. No, this just goes back round again, doesn't it? We go outside again. Damn it, I'm lost. Alright, we're back at the lobby. Go back outside, around to the north. If I do need to go in by the room, by the place where there are still two guards, which might actually be the West Guard Tower, that would mm, perhaps make some sense. Um, oh, there's a couple of guards knocked out in the corner there. Wondering what I was looking at. Jump in puddles. See if we can't find those lift controls. This place, no wonder I keep getting lost. This place is freaking enormous. Rather a little too large, I think, for what it contains, because I'm going around in circles a lot, and there's an awful lot of empty hallways and rooms. But. That's the way it goes sometimes. So this is the lift that doesn't work. This is the one that's out of order, right? I wonder how I get down there. There's something down there too. Yeah. Ah, this is the room. Ooh. It's actually locked. Too many keys. So it's not gonna be that one. Hmm. Wait, what happened to the guards over here? Did I knock them out? There's only a way there from inside, but I can't get inside from here. And uh, this must 
This might be the West Guard Tower. I don't know. It is West. It did have guards. Uh, it is all made of wood. But I'm not sure if those windows are big enough to climb in. They don't really look it. Let me try getting up there. Let's see if that gets me anywhere useful. Nope. Does this connect at all? Well, that's the switch I need. Can I shoot it? Nope. Guess we'll have to see if I can climb in the window. No, I cannot. Too small. How do I get in there? There were two guards in there before, and they... I guess it connects. So that's on the western side somewhere. I'm gonna find another way in. To get back around there. I guess those guards must have been patrolling and I knocked them out, but uh... So that switch controls the power for this lift. Or at least for the controls to this lift on this floor. Jumping in puddles. Jumping in puddles. Alright, we're back inside. I think. Yeah. Unless this doesn't actually connect anywhere. Eh, this doesn't seem to connect anywhere. Great. Well, that's fun. So where's the next way in? Oh, we got a secret way into the electrics. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it again. And we'll try and head to the western side of the building and see if we can possibly find... the way into that uh, guard room. I think everybody in the whole building now is probably unconscious. Except the prisoners. I didn't knock out the prisoners. But uh, not that, that helped them much. Just the privy. Right, we need to go a little further south and stay on this western side. Hopefully this leads to that power switch. The door doesn't seem to open. Perhaps here. Aha! This is the room. Oh, it has a way downstairs? Where does this go? Not a very long way down. That door doesn't open. further. I need a key for that door, but uh, interesting. North freight lift, upper level control, okay. The lift we want is now active again. Have we been this way? Oh, I have been here. Came up this, and I must have turned right instead of left. Yeah, because I saw these storage rooms for broken stuff. Uh, alright. So I could have found that switch much sooner, only I didn't. Lucky me. However, I found it now. I can go back outside and get to the lift. And presumably, I think that'll get me back on track with the person I'm trying to find who stole the master's key. <sighs> I need the master's key, because then I can open the master's secret safe in his room. And that will, with any luck, have the mechanical eye, or at least information I need to find it. 
cliffside path is under there, but I can't get it from here. But now with that switch on, uh, these controls should be working, right? Look your ears, because this is noisy. Very noisy indeed. I'm also I'm standing on this crate because there was a note in the readme saying that sometimes you drift through the floor. fall through the floor. this body before. Um, there's a passageway up there and also instantly up in that corner that you can barely see that leads through to the caves. Um, what kind of wall is this by the way? I don't know. It leads through, sorry, not to the caves, to a cliffside path that was full of mines. Um, well, this isn't a body with loot. Although, is that, a pat is that a way through the water under there? Possibly. I didn't explore that option before. Let's find out. Let's go swimming again. Aha! This is what I missed before. This is my way forward. And I'll have to go and look out for mines and stuff again because uh, there's someone down this way who's very keen on having nobody follow them. Leaving lots of mines and threatening notes. I actually found a note right as to who what who it was. Did I keep it on me? No, not that one. Not that uh, not that one. No, I don't think I kept it on me. But someone who had taken a bunch of mines and was trying to escape and left a note for someone else about it. Oh, there's somebody labelled... the only sign their letter was uh, a C or an S or something. I don't know who it could have been. It was S. Master Celestus himself, but that's just silly. He has his own private escape route. Which is where I came in. The other complexity to this is the girl that uh, Garrett had been involved with at the start of the mission was actually trying to locate him in order to get hold of his eye for herself for some reason. And I think she was the one of the, the master's children. It's a little vague. Oh, now we're below the... Uh, other lift. Okay. Huh. I don't know if this gets me anywhere useful. I can certainly try climbing up. Well, actually, let's look around the outside first. Can I see any passages to climb up to? Hard to say. something there. And that looks like more than just bollocks. I think that's a waste of a rope arrow. 
Unless it's stuck into some wood randomly elsewhere. I do have plenty, so that's not too much of a problem. So there's a bunch of intrigue around the eye that I still don't understand. Oh, hello. Oh, there's ropes all the way up around the sides of this. That's handy for me. Yeah. That would be handy for me if I could grab onto them. Which I apparently cannot do. Can I jump onto that? Okay. Okay. I need to get up to the next level over there. I'll just try jumping up. Yay! Alright. So we have not been here before. This is let's not try that again. Well I might have to, you know. Where is this? Okay, a room with electric stuff and a note. Paper reading. Santa's cold. That must be the S. Yet another of our crew was dragged away this morning to the whipping post for sleeping at his workbench. For such a trivial offence, the crying and whimpering and begging of a grown man is an outrage. But your vengeance upon Faustus will not stop the floggings. Faustus takes his orders from the master, and unless you can convince the master himself, then nothing will change. My advice. Quietly return the master's key. Go home. Rescue your family from starvation. That will be an, an adventure far more worthy than making your revenge upon Faustus. G. G is goth. Now, that is reminding me the letter I found before was addressed to goth from S. The one about leaving mines behind him. So, what's his name? Santa's Gold. Okay, I'll hang on to this. Santa's Gold is uh, the one who took the master's key then. Oh. Well, that's no good. Don't suppose I have a key to this, do I? Hmm. Is this just a dead end? That's surely not just a dead end. Yes. Surely not just a dead end. There's another way out. If I can hit it. Or jump onto it again a few times. Oh. He looks... If that's Santa's gold, he looks a little bit dead. I am Santa's gold of the old village. As I write this, I should have hoped by now that Faustus would be flogged senseless for losing the Master's Key, which I have stolen. And by now I should have also paused for a moment to rejoice and then left this wretched mountain forever. But I cannot rejoice or depart, for had I not lengthened my stay upon this hill to exact retribution upon Faustus, I would have long ago returned to rescue my family soon enough, but I stayed away far too long. Instead of rescue this very eve, I have learned how my sick and starving and homeless family did perish at the feet of the village gates, awaiting my promised return. So I take this fruit myself, not as a hapless victim in the grasp of a dark plan to poison men like rats, but as a fool as deeply foolish as the man I have hated since the day he had me flogged. May the builder construct a proper and fitting punishment for my soul. I've had enough of this. Yeah, so you should have. All right, well, now we have the master's key at last. Uh, and perhaps that opens this door. Indeed it does. Just know down how he got in. Is this the same? Yes, this is the same western tower that I found before. All right. So now we go around to the lobby. And find our way back inside. 
and then go back to the master's chamber and hopefully in his safe he has my eye I don't know what became of the master but uh, it wasn't going to be stuck on there nothing at all good physics, good physics hopefully I will find my mechanical eye and uh, then we can leave this place again I wouldn't well, there can't be that much more to discover in here, so there might be another little twist, but not, hopefully not much. Certainly running around this place takes long enough. Alright, main entrance. Uh, I think it's this way to the master's chambers. Oh! Where did you come from? <coughs> You certainly weren't there before. Were you? If you were just spawned as a result of me finding the key, I'll be not very happy about it, but... I guess it was no real problem, so... That's fine. I wonder if someone similar has spawned here. No. Alright, back to the master's key. Now, I can at last... Oh, his elevators come back up again. With a key. That's opened a secret door somewhere. <laughs> Where? Upstairs, maybe. been in here. Alright. My dear Solustus, it is very likely a wasted effort on my part to write this. I should merely depart without a word, but unlike you I feel some sense of decency towards other humans, even towards such a heartless and cruel example as yourself. Do not have your thug search for me, for I will have travelled to a place unknown even by you, and there I will make a new life where men do not murder their own children out of fear that their heirs might lay claim to an early inheritance. May you replace me with a woman who knows how to hurt you as much as you have hurt me. Now that's what I call a stormy romance. So this is his mistress's chamber, I guess. Or was this his chamber? There's a bigger bed in another, in another room, which I would have thought was his. Bigger, fancier bed. In here. However, I'm not looking for a bed, I'm looking for a secret door. Uh, I think I'm chasing uh, red herrings over here. I never looked in those corners just to see if there might possibly be loot, but no. And this leads back into the main facility, I believe. Or the courtyard, okay. Right, let's go back. What did that... What did that switch open? What, where was that door? All safe. Why did I not see anything? Why does he have such a big table? Right, let's do it again. See if I can hear it. over this way somewhere. Sounds like it's... Oh! Don't. Well, I'm blind. It sounds like it's under this table. It is indeed under this table. So this leads to the master's secret chambers, does it? I wonder if he's still here. Or if he is now being old and decrepit. Has actually... What do we have here? If he's actually expired already. We have our mechanical eye! At last! And there's a bed and another note. Well done, Mr. Garrett. You have found your precious hammerite eye. How unfortunate the events of tonight. The act of an overzealous servant, I might suppose, perhaps having taken my words too literally. My daughter, Alicia, has always been a reliable resource and a useful tool in my service. Her abilities will be missed. Nevertheless, you are here, and now I wish to speak with you. Then afterwards you may take your leave to make your decision. 
Press the button beneath the flaming torch before you. Come to me, then consider my offer. Alrighty then. Let's press the button. What if the torch isn't flaming first though, huh? Elevator. Oh, hello. I wasn't really expecting the master to have a pit of lava. Up. Oh. Well, this is interesting. Garrett. Tonight. You have a choice. The same choice that I was given many years ago. Take the scroll and read it. And when you have made your decision, return here as the third lord of the Enterprise. Or otherwise, never, ever show your face again. Oh, you've retracted the bridge for me. How nice. On this third day of the Al Moon, in our fourth year under the reign of Forsythius the Just, I, Ustensilus Solustus, second lord of the Enterprise, being of sound mind and will, do offer to transfer full ownership of the entity known as Solustus Industries, including any and all assets, patents, products, facilities, inventories, and rights, unto what <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, don't write that down. Unto one, Garrett of the Old Village, known to be a keeper of the prophecies, thief and heretic, but henceforth to be known only as the Third Lord of the Enterprise, upon his agreement given in writing. Sworn witness and recorded this day by Franticius Esquire and Chief Counsel of the Enterprise. Uh... So I have a choice. I don't particularly want to be the lord of this place where you make torture instru instruments, you know? Uh, it's not really my kind of thing. So what if I drop this in the lava for you? Oh, I can't drop it. Oh, this leads back to uh, the starting area. Well, I think I'm going to leave. I'm going to go back out the way I came. And then we'll say no more of this. You will die. Your kids will take your place. And we will be done. Back to the caves. Alright, that was uh, the Enterprise, uh, part two of that mission. That's the first of nine missions in this campaign. So there's a lot more to come. It took me two hours, 20 minutes, and 36 seconds. I found every single piece of loot, which is unusual, but it wasn't, most of it wasn't very hidden. Uh, I found two out of three secrets. I don't know what I missed. And I'm definitely not going back to search that enormous building for the secret I missed. Alright, I was killed one. Oh, the zombie. I killed the zombie. That's right. Oh, I killed it again. Uh, Alright, well, that is going to be the end of this episode. It's a little shorter than the last two, but uh, we will continue with uh, the next mission in the next episode. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you here next time.